Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about how to properly take mid control on Mirage. Now, this should be a quick video, so don't worry too much. Um, if you're just here for the smokes, let's quickly go over those. Cat smoke, you lodge yourself into this corner. Aim at the middle of this. Jump throw. Now, if you don't have a jump throw bind, I highly recommend my video for that. Um, it's the number one Google search result and YouTube search result for CSGO jump throw bind. And this will properly block off everything except for boost, but no smoke's really going to do that. Um, a top connector smoke, you're going to lodge yourself into this corner back here. You're going to crouch as well. Now, you're going to, while holding the crouch key, aim at the top of this parallel line. And we're going to walk forward while holding crouch until we hit the bottom parallel line and then jump throw. Sounds complicated, pretty easy to do, and this is going to properly smoke off connector. Now with this top connector smoke, you're still going to want to molly into connector, I'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, and then window smokes, there's three of them that I'll show you. This one, you lodge yourself next to the trash can, aim right about here, and then we're going to hold A until we hit right here, and then we're going to jump through. I throw this one most often out of all the window smokes. Then you have this one. You lodge yourself into the same corner. Aim right here, this side of the door, and while I press my jump throw, I'm also going to press D. And then same thing, you lodge yourself into the same corner. Go right here, crouch, walk forward until you hit the bottom line, jump throw. All of these are going to smoke off mid-window. Alright. So, also, if you want a really quick window smoke for like a cat run-up, you can get into this corner crouch and then right here right where this little like break is you're going to go a little bit left of that into the red and just a simple jump throw and that's going to quickly smoke off right here um, while it doesn't smoke window it does a good enough job that you're able to get up cat the only thing you have to be worried about is this gap right here um, but if you molly off window that should not be an issue so let's say that you're going up connector so that means that you're going to have a window and a cat smoke down now, going up connector, first thing to keep in mind is that the first person here is going to not want to peek into window, even though there's a smoke down. Um, by the time he gets there, the smoke will not have landed. There's still like a two second delay. So he's going to stay like this, and he's going to molly into connector. Now, the problem is sometimes you'll miss this molly. You want to aim this molly for this top ledge and have a little bit get on the bottom here. This is to deter uh, the opera or rifler from peeking um, and swinging out. So a way to line this up is you get on this wall, and you aim right about here, and you stand throw. Now the problem with that is that it takes a little bit of time to line that up. So I prefer to wing it, um, but you have to keep in mind that sometimes you may miss it, just like that, and the top won't properly be mollied off, so you do have to be careful about a swing. Because you do not have a top connector smoke down, you're going to want to flash into connector. Now the reasoning for flashing into connector is that if you have an opper posted right here or right here, they will be blind, they will have to fall off. The way that you line up this flash is the person that threw the molly can also stand right here. It's the same lineup for the flash. Now this flash is going to pop before they have time to react. And this is going to get the majority of connector, especially if anybody is posted here or even back triple for example let me rethrow that flash and I'm kinda blind just enough blind that you have the advantage so with this flash you're probably gonna want to line up on this wall um, this flash will not blind you if you're right here okay and so your teammates can line up on this wall you can swing in angles you have to clear right here um, you can see this immediately if somebody's there so you don't have to like hard clear that um, Right here, you do have to hard clear. This angle is very difficult, especially if they're looking like this. Um, they could, well, like, right here, there could still be a guy hiding behind there. You're only going to see him when you're just about, like, fully clearing the angle. That's when you'll see the model, so you do have to hard clear that, um, or at least give more attention to that. This, obviously, is spammable. Um, also, when you're right here, peeking bottom stairs, there could be a guy bottom stairs that you cannot see you cannot fully clear this angle from this angle. Um, you can also peek default and firebox from right here, and this is a very good palace angle. Just, just a little heads up. Now, you can either dedicate all your players mid and do a fast run-up con, or you can dedicate three players mid, maybe have two on uh, ramp, so you can have a nice CT smoke, and my CT smoke is you line up on the right side of the store, 
right here in this brick. Yeah, it's kind of difficult to remember, but somehow you get a hang of it. And you jump throw, and this is going to smoke off CT um, and leave no gap. And then you're also going to want to have somebody smoke off front jungle. How the hell did that happen? Front jungle. Now, front jungle is different than a normal jungle smoke. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> uh, normal jungle smoke, you line up right here in the middle of this archway window thing. And you're going to go up from this, just like halfway height of this. It's very like how you feel it. So that's a normal jungle smoke now. You don't want to throw this smoke when you got people coming up from con because then they hit a smoke and they're forced to come upstairs. Um, but instead, you're going to want to go into the same place where you line up the uh, jungle smoke. And then there's this little vertical line right here. It's kind of difficult to see. Um, a different rule of thumb is that in between these two lines, just the middle of that, and you're going to go up just halfway, just like you did before, and you're going to throw that. Now this is going to bounce off of this wall, and it's going to smoke off the front of jungle. Now this allows people in connector to get up without having to worry about jungle. It's also a good idea to throw a molly with that as well, just to make sure that nobody is peeking into these angles. The reason you don't need a top stair smoke and you're just electing to do the jungle and the um, CT smoke is just think about it. What's the point of a top stair smoke if you got somebody already coming up here? There's not going to be anybody stairs because your connector people will clear them out. Now if we're going to execute B, Okay, that means that we have a top connector smoke, and we have a window smoke. Now, when executing B, it's always a good idea to, I would probably say, send two people top mid, one person underpass, and then two people into apps. Now, you're thinking one person in underpass, what's the point of the one person being an underpass if he's going to end up going B? So, with the top connector smoke, this does not, like I mentioned earlier, this does not clear off connector. There could still be a guy there, still a guy there. There's a lot of different angles where the person could be. Now, when you're running up cat, those angles become a problem because you can die from those. You can have your teammates die. Now, a way to deter this is to drop a smoke on cat, but you're using a smoke that you don't necessarily have to use. Instead, if you have a player in connector and he throws a molly like this, okay, that will help molly up that angle. Um, and he can also swing out, and just in case there is somebody there, he can attempt to go for the trade. Best case scenario, he gets the kill, and he has to go back um, either through cat or through underpass. Another uh, best case scenario is he gets the kill, and now he can just sit right here and lurk and hold the rotates. He can also make sure that nobody comes from cat, so if you do indeed plant for cat, which would be a good idea since you have two people running up cat, um, they don't have to worry about something, someone coming up behind them. They can focus on sight. Now, along with the... Uh, the top connector and the window smoke, these two players and apps, um, they have a couple options. They can either smoke, what's this one? It's like right here. They can either smoke, um, get left, or what's that get? Yeah, that one's get left. So they can smoke get left like that, um, which makes the cat people be able to come up here and they don't have to worry about anybody back sight and they can slowly clear this out. One thing that you have to keep in mind is that this smoke, like people can play in the smoke so it's not 100% clear, but it helps take away the angles. Um, this smoke can be paired with a um, market window smoke, which you get in yourself into this corner, aim right there, jump throw, and that will smoke off market window. So, it, yeah, there you go. Um, you can do that and try to funnel your players coming from cat up there to help clear off site for the people coming through apps. Or, uh, well, I wouldn't really recommend this smoke, which is the, I think it's right there, um, which is the get right smoke. There's no real point in doing this. I think that was it. Yeah. So this smoke isn't going to help anybody. Um, if anything, it's going to do more damage than good. Um, if there's a player right here, like a CT right here, he can now fight the people on cat without worrying about the people in apps trading him out. So these people in apps, things that they have to keep in mind is there could be a guy van and the van guy cannot be traded out by the people coming up cat. So it's a good idea to molly off van. Um, and you can also throw a molly bench without really peeking anything from right about here. Um, and that will at least make the person bench in jail um, have a bit more of an awkward time. Um, now these cat people, their job is to help clear off sight 
and then fall back, because bomb, in theory, should be planted for cat, so you want to maintain cat control. I hope that goes over everything. I said it was going to be a short video. I went more in depth. Who would have thought? Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. And thank you all for watching. Hope you have a good day, and I'll see you next time.